Hello and welcome to Daily Inspirations. Today I am decorating my September 2022 calendar with Planny Things Seasonal Fun Sticker Book, Planny Things um, Grid Washi. I can't remember the uh, full name of it, but this is a new release with the fall and Halloween stuff. And some tapes from Overlay Tapes, inks, Overlay Inks from Girl Boss Anna. Enjoy. I completely forgot to introduce myself in the intro there. I am Michelle Dawn. Thank you for joining me. The month of September is National Suicide Prevention Month in the United States. And that subject is very important to me. So I am going to read to you today about National Suicide Prevention Month from nationaltoday.com. I will also leave the link for nationaltoday.com down in the description. There are an average of 123 suicides each day in this country. It's the 10th leading cause of death in America, second leading for ages 25 to 34, and third leading for ages 15 to 24. In order to create awareness and strengthen the fight against suicide, the entire month of September is Suicide Prevention Month. Participate in the fight by getting involved with local organizations and listening to those who need help. History of National Suicide Prevention Month I think suicide is sort of like cancer was 50 years ago. People don't want to talk about it. They don't want to know about it. People are frightened of it and they don't understand. When actually, these issues are treatable. Judy Collins in recent years, society has become more open and receptive to discussions and conversations on suicide. However, there is still a stigma surrounding it, and with suicide rates increasing, it still means that the right help is not reaching people on time, and we have a long way to go. It's one of the fastest growing epidemics around the world. Approximately 44,000 people in the U.S. alone die by suicide each year. All of us play a role in both perpetuating the causes of and preventing suicide. Each year on National Suicide Prevention Month in September, mental health advocates, survivors, friends, and family, and mental health organizations across the country and around the world share their experiences and work towards eradicating this most tragic act. Suicidal thoughts can plague anyone regardless of age, gender, or social status. Commonly linked to depression, there is no foolproof indicator of suicidal tendencies. Many people suffering from depression or suicidal thoughts cover them up quite well. Such was the case with beloved comedian Robin Williams, who died by suicide at the age of 63 in August 2014. Originally established in 1979 as a support group by family members of individuals diagnosed with mental illness, the National Alliance on Mental Illness is a United States-based organization that serves as a resource on this highly taboo topic. NAMI helps those affected by suicide, assists with sourcing effective treatment services, and raises awareness for educating others on its prevention. If you or someone you know is in an emergency, call the National Suicide Prevention Line at 800-273-TALK, T-A-L-K, or 8255. That is 800-273-8255, or call 911 immediately. Next on nationaltoday.com, we have By the Numbers. 30%, the percentage increase in the rate of death by suicide in the United States between 2000 and 2016. 50%, the percentage increase in suicide among girls and women between 2000 and 2016. 10, the ranking of suicide as the leading cause of death in the United States. 47,511 the number of Americans who died by suicide in 2019. 1.38 million, the number of suicide attempts in the United States in 2019. 13.93, the age-adjusted suicide rate 
per 100,000 individuals. 3.63, the number of times by which more men committed suicide than women in recent years. 69.38, the percentage of white males who accounted for suicide deaths in 2019. 50.39, the percentage of suicides by firearms. 93%, the percentage of Americans surveyed who think suicide can be prevented. Next, we have how to observe National Suicide Prevention Month. Number one is spread the message. Throughout Suicide Prevention Month, it's extremely important to spread awareness, take time to reach out to those in need, and help people understand the severity of this cause. How? Hand out suicide prevention pins, start a campaign, and share stories of hope on social media. Number two, volunteer at a crisis center. Provide support by volunteering at a crisis center in your area. Although this is something that can be done year round, Suicide Prevention Month is the perfect time to get started. Check out the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline an organization that offers free and confidential emotional support 24-7 to those in crisis or emotional distress. And number three, record a supportive video. This is an easy option that doesn't cost money or time, so anyone can do it. Simply record a 15 to 30 second video promising your friends to listen to anything they need to say. Then use the hashtags, hashtag suicide is preventable, and hashtag 800-273-TALK and hashtag let it out. Now we have five no-nonsense tips to help someone in crisis. Number one, ask direct questions. Even though it's hard, ask a person directly if they're thinking about suicide. Number two, listen to their answers. People with suicidal thoughts often feel alone, so be sure to let them know that you care deeply about what they have to say. Number three, do a safety check. If you're concerned for their well-being, try removing anything they could use to harm themselves, such as alcohol, drugs, medications, weapons, and even access to a car. Number four, don't keep this a secret. Let them know you'll come up with a plan that involves telling a professional who can utilize the many services and resources available to help them. Number five, ensure they seek professional help. Unless you work in the mental health industry, it's important to suggest they seek additional help from other people, such as a doctor, counselor, psychologist, or social worker. And next we have why National Suicide Month is important. Number one, it promotes awareness. Suicide prevention organizations aim to decrease suicides by 20% over the next seven years. In order to do this, they're making a conscious effort to talk about suicide, its warning signs, how to prevent it, how to discuss it, etc., in school, at the workplace, and in politics. Number two, it starts a dialogue. There's a stigma connected to suicide, so too often it's not talked about, and those who suffer from it feel they can't discuss it. Suicide Prevention Month helps destigmatize this mental illness and promote conversation. Lastly, number three, it initiates change. Thanks to Suicide Prevention Month, approaches to suicide are beginning to change. For example, schools and workplaces are implementing new programs and even pop culture is acknowledging it. For example, the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why portrays the severity of suicide the struggles leading to this tragic decision, as well as how it affects those left behind. The Action Alliance for Suicide Prevention is using its platform to its advantage by turning the issues on the show into a national conversation. That is everything from nationaltoday.com regarding National Suicide Prevention Month, which is September. I did add a couple of quotes from Happy Planner Um, that I thought really went really well with this spread. And um, I just want to say you're not alone. I have been there and have been 
institutionalized a few times. Um, not that that's funny. I just want you to know that I am here and completely understand if you're going through something and you can always talk to me. All done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave it a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. As always, stay inspired. Bye.